yarder. Uh, 41 from the leg of Will Carter. Kick's got the He's distance. Got the distance. And it is good. 41 yard field goal. Second and short, low snap. Wood's going to throw, looking up for his man. Throwing his Davion Roby. He'll catch it and fall back into the end zone for the 30 yard pitch and catch from Ethan Wood to Davion Roby. Whippets extend their lead 9 to nothing. Hill looking to throw. Now he's going to turn around, throws it, and that should be grounding. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that should be a safety. Yeah, Whippet defense swarmed around the quarterback, and he just threw it off to the right. Wood's going to throw it over the middle. Catch is made by Jeremy Whitcomb, and he dives his way forward into the end zone for a touchdown. It was a slant route, and someone kind of caught him from behind, and basically kind of just pushed him into the end zone. He'll throw it, and it's picked off. Running down the sideline over Whippet. It is DeAndre Riley cutting it back towards the middle of the field. I don't think anyone's going to get to him. DeAndre Riley takes it back. 70 yards for the pick six. Coach Orr told us he wanted to live up to the number 10. And right there, he, he lived did up it to the number 10. We're looking to throw. Now he's being pursued. Going to run. Going to run. Going to throw it last minute. Diving in the end zone. Falling and making the catch was Lee Wade. Great job there by Caden Greer. The backup comes in and does what he can do there, Jeremy. That's what they like about Greer. Extends the play. Running back out of the backfield and bring Lee Wade back in that running back spot. They'll give it to Lee Wade, and he'll knife his way through the defense in for an 11-yard touchdown run. Great job there by Lee Wade, his second touchdown of the evening, and the Whippets send their lead 39-12.